So, you open on the button with ace queen. Jeff calls in the big this line. This hand I didn't like. I just check check. Uh, yeah, why do you not bet flop or turn? I thought this is a terrible flop to bet. But still not. Why, not, why not bet turn? I, I think. You're, I think yeah, I think I, I I agree that I should have bet turn. I, I feel like at this point Russell and I are pretty much on the same page with almost every hand that comes up. I feel very prepared. There's nothing in the back of my mind, you know, lingering that I should have studied more. You know, I feel like I put in enough time and I've reviewed enough that I'm ready to go. At the actual final table, my plan is to stay in touch with our people at home that are watching the live stream because they are going to be showing whole cards this year on a 15 minute delay, and I'm gonna have someone relaying those to me as I assume everyone will at the final table so that I can talk to Russ and say, okay, that player bluffed you here, or he had this hand here. If there was a big pot and somebody folded on the river, we'll be able to see what both of them had, and that'll be useful information to figuring out how they play. Also, a big part of what my role will be at the final table is to keep Russ calm, collected, make sure he's okay, make sure that he needs water, needs tea, needs coffee. The tournament starts at 4.45 Pacific time, and the first day will run till at least 3 a.m. You know, imagine what it would be like, you're gonna fly in a hundred people that you like, ESPN is watching, a million people are watching at home, the whole theater is arranged, you've had three months of telling your friends and family. I could be nervous um, for the first few hands, probably will be, I think everyone's gonna be a little nervous the first few hands. If I get unlucky, that's that, you know, there's nothing I could have done better. Jason claims to be more nervous than I am right now, which seems pretty tough. When you're in the moment at the table making the decisions, you're able to kind of put blinders on to the atmosphere and the pressure and the anxiety of the moment of being on poker's biggest stage. When I'm gonna be sitting on the rail, I don't have any control over what happens. I'm not afraid to make mistakes or uh play a hand a certain way that will look dumb if I'm wrong. I see what Russ is doing and the media tour he has to do and all the responsibilities that he has as an October Niner. You know, the, the, odds, the odds of making the final table are just so astronomically low. To have, to make it there by yourself is impossibly hard. To make it there with one of your best friends is just inconceivable. Jesse and I were roommates uh, in 2010 during the World Series of Poker. The last two years, you know, we'd visit each other when we were in the same area. We would meet up for the series. We had dinner every night during this year's series. And yeah, he doesn't stop teasing me about having the chip lead, saying how I'm, I'm only going for second at this point. I'm sure he tweaked some stuff and he got a bit better at certain spots, but like, he's already a great poker player because he can sit down and look at a hand and analyze it. I think we both know each other's games pretty well. Um, and when we play hands against each other, it is a little weird because it's kind of a big mind game. When we sit down, we play our hardest against each other. And it's not even like an option to not play our hardest. We're competitive people and we want to win and we want to win off each other. And shit, like having the bragging rights against your friends is almost sweeter than, you know, winning money off of someone you don't know. I mean, my goal is to win. If, he, if he's in the way, you know, I'm, I'm going to take his chips. That, that's the plan. Welcome, welcome to everyone. On behalf of Russell's dad and myself, we are so privileged and feel so happy about you all showing up. In, and, and this is really a celebration uh, for uh, Russell's achievement in reaching the final table.
I never thought I'd be back at the Rio before the World Series next year, and kind of coaching Rust was almost like a, a second shot at the main event. I'm honestly not sure how I'm gonna feel when it starts up. I don't know if I'll be nervous or excited or just ready to go, or uh, I don't know. I've thought about this moment many, many times. It's a big dream of mine to win this bracelet. Knowing myself, if I don't make it past day one, I'm gonna be very disappointed and probably a little upset. I'm very tired of waiting. I just wanna, you know, get this over with and uh, hopefully win. I mean, I. I know it sounds weird to say I want to get this over with because it's a really cool experience, but I'm, I'm just really tired of waiting. I just want to play and see what happens.